evening, ladies. Tonight I have the pleasure of welcoming each of you to the 41st Women's Club of Longcrest installation ceremonies. It is, a, it is a time to say goodbye to the past and hello to the future. The beauty of tonight's theme personifies the work done by each officer. Our installation is a solemn occasion, solemn with the acceptance of serious and important duties to be shouldered. But it is likewise a happy event, bright with the memories of past work well done, of problems faced together, of friendships made, and the joy of working with others for others. It is truly an honor to install the newly elected officers of the Women's Club of Longcrest. This occasion is one of great importance to you as a club member. It marks the completion of a year of progress and achievement, as well as the pleasant associations under the direction of a group of fine leaders. I hope you will all enter into this installation with a keen appreciation of your own responsibility and the success of the new administration. At a time such as this, many members may recall how far we have come in 41 years. I ask you now to renew your faith in the club and pledge your loyalty to the women who are willing to give their time to serve as officers in the organization. Will the retiring treasurer, Marie Lucky Jr., please come forward. Please come forward. I'm sorry, I forgot it. Will we'll the retired corresponding secretary, Evelyn Atkinson, please come forward? Recording Secretary Christine Curtis, please come forward. Will the retiring Vice President Mary Ann O'Neill please come forward? Please come forward. work. You have watched our group grow in number, strength, and accomplishment. Your time, thoughts, and energies have been given most generously. You are to be congratulated on a job well done and a year of splendid service to others. To each of you, Helen, Mary Ann, Christine, Evelyn, and Marie, we say most sincerely a heartfelt thank you. Please come forward. Carol, the old 
office to which you have been elected is the most important one. Upon you falls the responsibility of guarding the funds of the club. It is not an office of simple bookkeeping. It is your duty to keep the president, board of directors, and the membership advised as to the financial status of the organization. Carol, do you accept this office? I now install you as treasurer of the Women's Club of Longcrest, and I wish you much success in your office. Secretary-elect Rose Lentz, please come forward. your office reflects credit and prestige upon this organization. You are our contact with the members. You will conduct the correspondence of the club as frequently as needed and as promptly as occasion demands. Rose, do you accept this office? I now install you as corresponding secretary of the Women's Club of Longcrest, and I wish you joy in this work. Will the recording secretary-elect, Marie Cornell Mitchell, please come forward. Secretary be meticulous. Action taken at all official meetings must be recorded for posterity. You must record what is done, not what is said. You are the custodian of the records. Guard them carefully. Marie, do you accept this office? I now install you as recording secretary of the Women's Club of Longcrest, and I wish you much success in your year. you are receiving leadership training and should be alert and acquaint yourself with all the various procedures, business, and policy of this organization. It will be your duty to help whenever possible and to be ready to reside if the president cannot be present. Evelyn and Helen, do you accept this office? I now install you as co-vice presidents of the Women's Club of Longcrest, and may you both have much pleasure in this capacity. Rosemary, you have given your consent to serve as the leader of this organization. You have been extended the confidence of the members. You will assume the authority to speak for the Women's Club of Longcrest. Guard this privilege well, because it is with love and trust that you have been so endowed. Rosemary, do you accept this role of great responsibility? It is with 
humility, confidence, and prayer that I now install you as president of the Women's Club of Longcrest. I wish you success and joy during your term. service. Give them grace and wisdom to carry out thy will. Be with these women who are to be our leaders. May their words be acceptable in their sight, in thy sight. Amen. Rosemary, Evelyn, Helen, Marie, Rose, and Carol, in closing I say, look with joy towards your goals, rise to your challenges, climb your highest mountains, and do not despair if you should falter on the way, because love and dedication will bring forth a shining new day. That was written by Rosemary Rose, 1986 Parliamentarian.